Hello YouTube, this here is the Ugly Prepper. Uh, kind of looking at you sideways here, I got you on one side of the table. Uh, but uh, hope everyone's doing okay today. Ugly Prepper first. We have a requested video uh, sometime back about a week ago. Mrs. PK Kitty. Uh, Mrs. P. Kitty, my bad. Uh, sorry to mess up your name, hon. She uh, she left a comment on one of my videos. Uh, she says, great purchase. We're talking about the Rock Pals. Sure gives a peace of mind. Uh, and she said, uh, can you do a video on how to make the barter kits? And I told her that I would. It was in the works. And uh, i try to think where the camera is on this thing. I'll show you if you can see that on my phone right there. That's the comment she made. Uh, so, uh, Mrs. P. Kitty, here's your video. Courtesy of the Ugly Pepper. So today we're going to talk about making some barter kits. Uh, I've done quite a bit of prep work here on this one. Uh, so I'm going to show y'all. Uh, show you the table here. We've got uh, quite a few things laid out. Uh, I'm gonna talk about some different things. Uh, I had the ammo can there to lay the camera up against. Uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, but uh, these are some things that I that I use. This is just what I have on hand today. But I have other ideas and other things that I want to put in some of my kits. So, but this is just what I have on hand today. Okay. So. Um, I hope y'all getting a good look at that. Okay. Now, I this ammo can here. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see me or not. But we shall soon find out. I'm sitting in this camp chair, y'all, and it's kind of low. Okay. That looks like that might work out. So first of all, we're gonna talk about the bags I use. I do not use sandwich bags. They're just, um, they're just really not tough enough. You know, these barter kits, if you're going to store them, uh, you know, I use the Ziploc. Uh, these are the quart freezer bags. Uh, you can get the great value quart freezer bags, whatever you desire. But uh, I go with the, the quart size freezer bags. They make a perfect size, and they're tough enough. They'll last a little while, and this is just not the bag that the kit goes in. This is an item in the kit. This can carry, you know, you can carry small amounts of water or transfer water from one thing to, to another thing. So this is, you know, part of the kit. So you want it to be of some quality, okay? So, okay. Um, let's make a kit, okay. These are the, the little notepads I've been talking about in some of the other videos I have that are starting to stack up. So we're going to stick one of these notepads in each one. These are dual purpose, you know, you can write on them, you can uh, start a fire with them, that type of thing. I try to, to make, uh, I try to have at least two fire redundancies in every bag. Now you can do different kits. You can do straight up food and nutrition kits, like you can buy big packs of the cheap protein bars and, and different things for food, uh, little Kool-Aid drink mixes. You know, you can do food type kits. Uh, you can do straight up uh, first aid kits with all bandages and uh, first aid items, but uh, and you can make these uh, as inexpensive or you can make these as high end as you like. I tend to do both. Uh, in my high end kits, I put 550 paracord for my cordage along with my bank line. Uh, in my lower end kits, I'll do stuff like cheap dollar store matches. Uh, a little five foot hank of uh, jute twine for tender and I use uh, these things 
I'm buying these trash bags, y'all, that take these little ties. They're just basically bread ties. Okay, but uh, for some reason, I forget to put the tie on. I have a burn barrel right outside my home. I just take my bag out to the burn barrel, and I forget that I have these ties. But these ties are good. You can use the ties to make your little bundles of... Uh, you know, of, of your jute twine for tender. This can, you can tie stuff with it too, but it is not very strong. My main reason for this uh, jute twine is fire tender. You can, uh, I'm knock the piece off there with my elbow. Uh, you can uh, start a fire with that. This is number 36 bank line. Uh, again, using the little bread ties, or you could just save all your bread ties, you know. And, uh, and these, these have, you can use these to fix little items too, you know, these have a purpose. So other than just holding these, uh, of course they do hold them awful nice. But uh, again, you know, fishing line, you can do all different types of cordage. Uh, so in anyhow, uh, you can even do braided fishing line, like if you want to do a high end. And you can do fishing kits. You can do different types of kits. That, you know, uh, there's enough ideas out there. It's just depending on what type of stuff you have. So today we're going to make uh, just a, an all-around survival kit. I do try to have two fire implements in the in each bag, and I'm going to have some bandages. These are uh, uh, they're antiseptic towelettes. So these have antiseptic properties antiseptic towelettes uh you can buy these on amazon by the hundred or of these some of these came in one of my medical kits uh as you can see this one here is actually two together so you can buy these that's an option okay so uh you know your standard band-aid these are options these are the the, I don't know if you can see that what's in the package there, but those are the knuckle type. Uh, and we have here some of the butterfly type bandages. So, you know, and I have lots of these. These are rolled up gauze. Uh, these are conforming stretch gauze bandages. And they're a, they're a roll, I think they're like a, a four foot or a five foot roll of gauze. I have tons of these things. Uh, I've got my medical kit. I've got a big tackle box with my, all my medical stuff in it, and I've got it slapped full. These are all the extra ones I had, so I thought I would throw these in. These are the, uh, these are four by fours. No, these are three by three gauze pads. Uh, I have, I happen to have a lot of those. I'm just trying to describe to you the items that I have. Of course, these are tea light candles. I have tons of these okay um these are the dollar store matches i got a, a pile of those um duct tape you can you can find like your old debit cards or whatever if you didn't cut them up uh find your old debit cards or any kind of hard card or uh like business cards if they're glossy the gloss you know because if you just do the regular paper business cards, that last wind of duct tape is going to stick to the card and it won't do right. But, you know, you can wind up your duct tape on these and, and you have a good amount of duct tape on there and it's flat. It'll pack well. These, let me show you all that. These are, uh, I bought some bicycle inner tubes. They're cheap. You can find them at Walmart. They're all different sizes. But, uh, you know, you can make, I'm trying to show y'all here, you can make different size ones uh, of these. And they, these make super duper rubber bands. I mean, they're not super stretchy, but they are super duper strong. And like if you have Altoids 10 kits or whatever, you can put these around your Altoids 10s or whatever. But these have a lot of uses. And you can buy bags, you know, hundreds and hundreds of regular rubber bands. But I find these type here, they last, uh, they last longer. They don't dry rot as fast. So those are the items that we have. Okay, we're going to start packing our kit. 
uh, Miss Kitty, I hope you're watching this, or Miss P. Kitty, my bad. Uh, also have like um, some birthday candles, a little cheap. Go to Walmart, buy you some birthday candles. Get uh, the little trick candles, the ones that are hard to blow out, you know, they'll light back up. I get the little uh, trick candles because if you think about it, they're windproof. You can blow them out and they'll come back again. So, uh, so you know, that's one of the fire implements, you know. You know, if, it's, if the wind's blowing or if it's super wet, you can hold this up under your fire tender and get it lit with a candle, you know, okay. Same with the tea light, same purpose. You can set this on the ground, you know. Uh, okay, so let's start kit building, y'all. And like I said, you can, uh, oh, I also have this other item. I don't want to leave this stuff out here. We have, okay, zip ties. Man, I love these zip ties. They come in handy for lots of things. I like the 8 inch ones, I like the, the long ones, because uh, you know, you don't ever know what you're going to need for, what kind of length you're going to need, so uh, I tend to go with the long ones, okay. So I've got my notepad in my bag here, this is the notepad I'm going to give, and uh, I didn't do it this time, but normally I would write the contents of the bag uh, on this notepad, but uh you know i put the bags together first then i'll take this out and write the contents of the bag in there okay so first thing we're going to do this is a five foot section of jute twine for tender i'm going to stick that in our bag okay we're going to take two of these eight inch zip ties we're going to go in there with those all right we're going to take one of these antiseptic towels, towelettes, stick that in there, okay. We're going to take two of these little birthday candles, stick those in there, okay. We're going to put one of these 3 by 3 you pads in there. And y'all, the numbers, you can do any type of numbers you want. You can make the kit as extensive as you like. Uh, and like I said, you could do cheaper, you could do high-end, you know, it's all what you want to do. All right, we're going to put in a, a box of matches here, box of matches. I hope y'all can hear me okay. I'm a good ways away from the camera. You may have to turn your volume up. I apologize. Uh, so we got the matches. Okay, we're going to throw in, Let's do three of the regular band-aids, okay? Three of the regular band-aids. We'll do one knuckle bandage. We'll do one of the little uh, butterfly bandages. And I'm going to get some sterish, sterish, sterish strips, ever how you say that. Those little sterish strips that you use for a little laceration and stuff, another excellent idea. And I've already wrote it down on my list this time when I go to the store. I'm going to get me a box of those stereo strips. I don't know how many come in a box, but I imagine it'd be 100 because they're not very big, you know. But those would be excellent for a barter bag as well. Um, okay, let's see. We got our, all our bandages are in there. Okay, let's go with one of these rolled gauze. All right. One of those. Let's put two of the tea light candles in there. Let's do one of these super duper rubber bands out of the bicycle inner tube. You know, uh, we can do one thing of uh, duct tape. Let's do, this is like a 15 foot hank of the number 36 bank line, y'all. Uh, this stuff is 300 and something pound test. You could use this for a ridge line for your shelter. So we got that in there. Um, let's see what else. Did I miss anything? Jute twine. Um, okay. And you know, if you have cheap lighters, this is a big, of course. But if you have cheap lighters, you can uh, you can put cheap lighters in there. And if you're doing the cheap lighters, you can put your duct tape on the lighter itself use it to roll the duct tape on that's another great thing that way you've got two things in one here okay 
And the duct tape can also be used as fire tender, by the way. You can patch tents with it. You can patch your clothing with it. It'd be a temporary patch, of course, but, uh, you know, and uh, I've got these little zip ties on here to keep the, the little gas button from being depressed. Uh, no, you can throw a lighter in there. Okay, so that's three or four different things for fire. Fire is so important. Uh, it is one of the key things for survival is fire, of course. Uh, so, okay. There's our little bag. Okay. Kind of press the air out of it a little bit. And there's our first bag. Now, when I get done making these, I'll pull this back out and I'll go through each bag and I'll write down on the little piece of paper on this pad uh, the contents of the bag and I'll place it in there so that it can be seen from the outside. And okay, so that way you can look and see the list of everything that's in this bag. Alright, so that's one. Alright. Okay, let's get another bag here out of the old bag box. There's another one. And like I said, these are just the items I have on hand. Uh, okay, there are so many different ideas for so many different things you could put in these. Okay, here goes my little notepad, the little freebie notepads. Okay, here goes another five foot section of jute twine. Here's a couple more, a uh, couple more of these zip ties. Sorry. The name escaped me. All right, let's do, I'm going to tear this one off here. Let's do one of these antiseptic towelettes. This medical stuff is not real cheap, so I, I kind of sparingly put it in. I will go multiples on the band-aids because, you know, people use a lot of band-aids. Uh, okay, so we got that. Let's do a couple of these little birthday candles. I'm trying to show y'all. All right. Now, here we go with, well, let's do this first. Let's do one of these 3x3 three three gauze pads. Get that in there. A couple of these little band-aids here, your standard. And I like these, uh, these are the kind of band-aids. They're, they're the stretchy material, fabric kind of material. Those are my favorite band-aids to buy. I don't like just the regular band-aids. I like these ones with the little stretchy bandage material. Those are my favorite. They conform to your finger or your wrist or whatever a lot better. So three of those. Okay. Let's do one of the uh, knuckle, knuckle band-aids. One of the butterfly band-aids. Okay. Alright, over here on the back row, let's go with a box of matches. That's an ignition source. Okay, let's do one of these big roll gauze things. Two of the tea light candles. Okay. And let's do one of these super duper rubber band thingies. And I'm going to change it up. I might just do some fishing line in this one. Let's see? Do some fishing line. And we'll do some uh, of the bank line. Bank line stuff is, is not cheap, so I try to use it sparingly because I use bank line a lot. Uh, bank line is so good for, I was talking to uh, Bug Out Bushido yesterday uh, about the bank line, the tarred bank line. It's so good. Down here in the deep south, it gets so hot, the sun stays out, and it's 90, 90 or above for 10 months out of the year. And that bank line will hold up in the sun pretty good. So if you're doing some lashing or trying to do some some, uh, some bushcraft building, that bank line is the stuff to have. Okay. And so did I get, forget anything? Okay, uh, I didn't do the duct tape, but I don't have any more rolled up right here, okay? If I keep doing this, y'all, the video's going to be, you know, an hour long. And it's going to take me two or three days to upload it. But uh, you get the idea here. There's another one. Let me press the air out of it. Okay. And again, when you get done making your bags, go back and write the uh, the inventory down on your on the outside of your notepad. Okay. And uh, 
just to give you a couple of more ideas here, I've got my tackle box laying right here. And uh, just this is just for ideas, y'all. If you wanted to do this, you could. Okay, you've got these little beads, you know, for fishing. You could, you know, uh, swivels. You can buy these little packs of swivels. Uh, fish hooks, of course. Uh, the little, uh, the little weights, the little weights there, you know, the little, uh, not the bullet weights, but the little, uh, reusable sinkers, uh, you can use those, you can find, uh, you can buy a pack, multiple packs of these teeny weeny bobbers, okay, uh, of course you could use bigger bobbers, but, uh, these teeny weeny bobbers are good for the brim, okay? The small brim. And uh, here's some, look. I keep fire tender in my taco box. You can do cotton balls, y'all. Cotton balls is a good fire tender. Again, uh, lighters. Um, so, yeah. You know, just looking through here. Okay, here's uh, some big fish hooks. And I've got a bunch of T90 little bitty fish hooks tons of ideas okay so uh, it's just depending on what type of bags you want to make I typically do some high-end bags and some uh, some cheaper or more inexpensive type bags to build but uh, y'all there, there's your barter kit video uh, Miss P Kitty uh, I hope you understand that it, uh, it, it's not just all this on the table uh, Everybody, you can do, you know, you can do safety pins. Uh, you can do the little bobbin threads or something like that. Um, you know, if you're doing a food bag, you could put a couple of tea bags in, you know, in your bag. A couple of tea bags in your food bags. Uh, you know, so many different ideas. Uh, you, you could do so many different small, super small items you could buy. And, uh, and make your little barter bags or barter kits out of. Y'all, that's what we're working on today. Uh, I did score some more 9mm ammo today. I actually found a gun shop that had some. Uh, Norma, I think was the name brand. I uh, don't think I've ever bought any of that name brand before, but uh, uh, I got them for $30 a box, so I snatched me up two boxes of 9mm uh, today. So. It is out there, y'all. You just have to find it. See, y'all, uh, this is what we're doing today. I hope, uh, I hope this helps. Uh, appreciate you if you like the, the video. And subscribe to my channel. And share my videos if you can. Share them, you know. I talked about doing some giveaways uh, in my other video. So, you know, when we get to a thousand people... I'm going to do some serious giveaways. Uh, and so, again, now, you can do these bags, y'all, and you can either charge for them or barter with them, or you can give them to people. Like, if my family came to me needing help, I would probably give my family. Or if it's a lifelong friend, somebody in your mag that you know you can depend on, uh, you know they're good for it, whatever. You can give these, okay? Um, but yeah, build you some barter bags, some barter kits. Uh, and uh, again, I barter coffee as well. Uh, so, you know, different strokes for different folks. TJ Preps was doing a video the other day about making her own cigarettes. I don't smoke, but you know, I thought, what an excellent idea. I can go buy one of those cigarette roll machines and roll those cigarettes and, and, and put those uh, in a barter bag or, or, you know, or sell them as a way to make money, you know. So just open up your mind. The ideas are out there, y'all. All right, I appreciate you watching. Uh, y'all have a blessed day. This is the Open Factory.